Hi, my name is Dan Myers. I'm a regional sales manager for Emerson Process Management Valve Automation. Here today to talk to you a little bit, little bit about EIM electric actuators and more specifically a general overview of the major component parts of an electric actuator and how they work. So what we'd start with is the electric motor. Uh, every actuator has an electric motor. Uh, we support multiple voltages, DC, single phase and three phase. Uh, the next would be the gear reduction. Uh, so the motor drives through a gear set, it creates higher torque, and we have multiple ratios to dial in specific output torque and speed for the valve that the actuator would go on. Uh, finally, we have the uh, control package piece. Uh, this is the component part that allows for operation of the valve in either the open or closed direction. So uh, with control packages, there are two basic technologies that are available. Uh, the first is what you see here is an electronic type control package. So we're taking data from the valve, position and torque, and we are comparing it to inputs and commands and we're driving the valve to its specific position from there. Uh, an operator has the ability to operate locally through a local display module, local switches on the valve, uh, or via hand wheel, or remotely uh, via discrete inputs, analog inputs, or network control. And that brings us to this product, which is a hardwired type actuator. Uh, this is the EIM M2CP2000 series actuator. It uses a hardwired control package that, like the electronic actuator, will give you the ability to operate locally with buttons and selectors, as well as remotely via discrete inputs, analog inputs, or network controls, whichever the specification requires. So this has been a very brief overview of how the actuators function and work. We've got much more information available on our website, which is eim-co.com.